Welcome back. <laughs> oh, Master. I wonder what kind of dream we'll have tonight. <laughs> well, let's go together. Seek you. The sounds of slashing, tearing flesh, the dying shrieks of a demon. Before your ropes are cut, those demons held you hostage along with the rest of your town. Some didn't make it, but thanks to the efforts of a demon slayer, you are safe now. He removes your blind. And you see the face of the hero that saved your village. He is stoic, but something tells you his stoicism won't fully stick. The town congratulates the hero, and a festival is held in his honor. He doesn't fully stick around. That being said, you gather up treats and drinks, preparing to thank your savior with your gifts. You find him on a hill, sitting and gazing upon the city as the moon shines down on the small village. You catch his attention as he sees you approach him. Hmm. What's this? A gift? For me? There's no need for this. This is my job. I don't need to be rewarded for something I already do enough. You should return to the festival. You don't need to worry about me. He turns away, but you begin to offer some of the food. Despite this festival food, you made your own. Fresh bread and cooked meat. Something you personally thought he would enjoy. Just to bite them. Since you're so keen on making sure I eat something, if you want to, sit next to me. You smile at this, sitting next to him as he eats the fresh meal. If you must know, those demons had you on display. Something about you seemed to set them off, as though you had something they were drawn to. They planned some kind of event as they held you up. You even seemed to be the only one under such a display. What with a blindfold and such. You shudder, but he places a hand on your shoulder. But... You're safe now. You needn't worry any longer. You really should return to the festival. I don't have any intentions on staying longer. You turn to him, somewhat concerned. What is it? You don't want me to leave yet. You want to properly thank me for my efforts. No. This is enough. Truly it is. You tell him that it's far too dangerous to leave during the night, and he should wait until daytime. As I said, you have no reason to worry about me. Again, these kinds of things are part of my job. 
You don't have to do anything further. You tell them of your occupation, an innkeeper. He sighs. Ah, if it worries you this much, then I will stay. But only for the night. The moment I see daylight, I will be leaving. Now then, I need a moment of peace. You smile, leaving behind the basket of food as you prepare the room for him. Once the festival ends and all becomes quiet, Giyu arrives, stepping into the room where he finds that you fell asleep waiting. He sighs and approaches you. Wake up. You fell asleep here. As you wake up and rise up, your sleeve slips, almost exposing most of your body. But he quickly fixes that. You should get some sleep in your own room. If I left you to sleep here, it would leave a bad taste in my mouth. If I didn't get... If I didn't help you get home, you embrace him. <laughs> He's rather surprised. Is this your way of giving thanks? I'm grateful, truly, but I shouldn't. It wouldn't be good for you to be attached to me this way. I'll be leaving in the morning. Please, you. You don't need to do this. As he tries to hold you away, your clothing slips again. <laughs> and Giyu turns his head away, his face a slight red color. Your clothing. Please, I... I shouldn't. Giyu turns to look at you. Due to how sleepy you are, you can't really tell what he's muttering. However, you soon feel his lips against your own. And he continues to kiss you. But the rest of your top begins to slip off more and more and Giyu quickly pulls back and turns away. I... I can't. I can't. If I do this, it's going to be dangerous. Should you become attached to me, it will only get you into more danger. I truly shouldn't do this. And yet, I somehow find myself moving closer to you. Damn it. I... I... can't... can't help myself anymore. 
he lays you down on the bed, and slowly he begins to kiss your neck. I'm drawn to you, and I need you right now. He continues to kiss your neck. Uh. in your body. Yet I do not wish to leave you. After this, should morning come, perhaps you'll come with me, if that is what you truly desire. But for now, for now this moment is what matters. up from your dreams so suddenly. The rest of it is too steamy to be shown on YouTube. I hope you understand. Anyway, let's bring smiles to the world. CQ out. Hey there everyone, CQ's here. And here's a little reminder for you to cast away any self-doubt in your mind Right now. Right now might be a time for you to say, Hey, I need to believe in myself. I have no room for self-doubt. I believe in myself. So, powerful, powerful, powerful you. Go achieve your dreams and grasp your destiny with your own hands. You believe in me, and so I'll believe in you too. Hmm. Go, 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 go. Fighting. <laughs>